Manitoba's film industry is booming, bringing millions to the local economy and creating thousands of jobs in this province. Film Training Manitoba is hosting its Manitoba Film Master Series this weekend. Academy Award nominated documentary filmmaker Rory Kennedy, the daughter of the late U.S. Senator Robert F. Kennedy, will be in Winnipeg for a master class session. And joining us now is American documentary filmmaker Rory Kennedy herself. Good morning, Rory. Good morning, Rochelle. Nice to be here with you. You too. Now, you're coming to Winnipeg for the first time as part of Film Training Manitoba's Masterclass Series. Tell us about what you're going to be doing here and the messages you want to convey. Yeah, well, first of all, I'm very excited to visit Winnipeg, um, which is, you know, has a great reputation right now for, for the film industry. There's so many people here. I live outside of Hollywood who have spent time in Winnipeg, have done great films there and various projects. So um, it's got a terrific reputation that precedes it, precedes it, and I just can't wait to get there. Yeah, and there will be a lot of filmmakers, maybe even some new ones that will want to learn some lessons from you. So what lessons do you want to share with them? Well, I'm very excited to uh, be involved in the the film training program that you, that you guys are hosting there in Maritoba. Uh, Manitoba and um, I think you know I'm gonna talk really about my own experiences starting as a documentary filmmaker right out of college and what that was like how the industry has shifted some of the projects that I've worked on I'm excited you know there's a range of programs that we're doing there we're doing a master class series um, we're also doing a more public event um, and then I'm just very excited about the one-on-one -on -one conversations I'm going to be having with up-and-coming filmmakers and and really just talking to them about my own experience and hopefully sharing a, a bit of knowledge and the the pit falls and the um, excitement that lies ahead. So cool. Now, how has your family's history and legacy inspired your passion for filmmaking? Well, you know, I, I grew up in a, I, the youngest of 11, and I would say, um, you know, I've had a lot of wonderful influences in my, my, my childhood and my upbringing, and certainly my mother and, and what my father stood for, as well as my siblings and uncles and aunts. Um, you know, I was surrounded by people who were very committed to public service and also looking outwardly to see how they can make the world a better place. Mm -hmm. And I think that certainly had an influence on my life. I was never told, you need to do this, you need to give back in, in an explicit way. But I was, I think, more inspired by the people who I saw um, contributing and um, looking to see how they could lessen the burdens and, and and the suffering that happens around the world and i think that that kind of trickled down for me i mean i i haven't um pursued public uh and electoral politics but i think through storytelling and documentary filmmaking i my my hope is that people have you know, seeing these stories that maybe they wouldn't be exposed to and meet people who they otherwise wouldn't know. And hopefully it opens their hearts a little bit and helps them understand the world from a, a slightly different perspective. Absolutely. And you have a new film that's coming out. It's going to be on HBO. It's called Sin and On. Tell us about that. Yeah, it's uh, it's called The Sin and On Fix. It's actually a four-part series that's going to premiere this spring on HBO. It just um, We just premiered the first two episodes at the Sundance Film Festival in Utah, which was really exciting. And it's, um, it's a fascinating story that uh, a lot of people are unaware of, of uh, the first drug treatment program for heroin addicts that started here in uh, Santa Monica, California in 1958. It was the first residential treatment program probably in the world, but um, it evolved into a lifestyle community and then over the years evolved into what many consider was a cult. Mm -hmm. um, so it's got this interesting history and legacy and really saved so many people's lives and at the same time um, I think created uh, a situations that, that also compromised people. Absolutely. Okay, well, Rory Kennedy, thank you so much for your time today. We're so happy you're coming to Winnipeg. Enjoy your stay here and good luck on the weekend.
Okay, can't wait to get there. Yeah, take care, Rory. We'll see you soon.